Hello everyone, welcome again. Today we're going to talk about other sections from TOEFL IBT tests. So I'm going to explain you about the types of questions that you will find inside the listening section. Well, first, let me tell you that listening is the second section in this test and consists of six passages, each followed by five or six questions. So you may take notes as you listen to the passages and you can use these notes to answer the questions. So you have to know that note taking is a critical part to success in this part of the test. Later I will tell you some ways not only to take notes but also to organize the information you hear. Second, all the passages are set in an academic environment. As a result, you will listen outside classroom conversation and also lectures about a great variety of academic topics. To complete this section, you will have only 60 to 90 minutes. Well, after this short overview, it's time to look at each type of question. First, we have to gist questions. This question asks about overall ideas of a passage or a whole passage. They may ask you the subject, topic, main idea or main purpose. You will identify them when the question says, what is the subject of the passage? Or what is the topic of the discussion? Or what is the purpose of the talk? There will be only one gist question per passage and this is the first question you have to answer as soon as the conversation or lecture recording finish. Later we have the detailed questions. These ask you about specific pieces of information that are stated in the passage. As you listen to each passage, you should focus on the major detail from the passage. Details are tested by multiple choice questions and there are one or two correct answers. You will identify detailed questions when the instruction says what is stated in the passage about or what does the professor says about it or why does the man suggest Every passage will have at least one detailed question and they are quite common for lectures. Later we have function questions. Here you are asked about the function or purpose of what the speaker says. In other words, this type of questions test your ability to understand not just what the speaker say, but why the speaker say it. After listening to the passage, you have to determine if the speaker says something in order to apologize, explain, clarify a point, change a topic, indicate a change of opinion, or suggest a new action. You will identify function questions when instruction says, what does the speaker say is this? Or what does the speaker mean? Or what does the speaker imply? Before to answer this question, you will listen to a part of the passage again. There will be only two function questions per passage and they are very common in conversations. Now it's time to talk about stance questions. These types of questions ask about the speaker's stance or attitude. This may be opinions, feelings or degrees of certainty. The speaker may express likes, dislikes, or consents. So you have to determine if the speaker is impressed, enthusiastic, or bored about a particular topic. Generally, the speaker will not directly state the answer, but you can infer a speaker attitude from the tone of voice, choice of words, uh, the context of the conversation or lecture. You can recognize these questions when the instruction says, what does the speaker mean? Or what can be inferred about the speaker? Or what is the speaker opinion? 
Before to answer this question, you will listen to a part of the passage again. There will be only one of these questions for each passage. Now, let's look at organization questions. These questions ask you about how ideas in the passage are organized or how they are related to the main idea or topic each other. They may ask you specifically about how an example or idea relates to the main topic or other ideas. You have to fill out the chart that shows the organization. You can recognize these questions when the instruction says, what does the speaker discuss or mention? How is the information organized? Click or put a check mark in the correct column or box. These types of questions come after lectures. Now, finally, we have inference questions. This type of questions ask you to recognize how different ideas or pieces of information in the passage are related. So in here, you may be asked to draw a conclusion, predict an outcome, or make an inference, recognize a sequence, or determine a cause for certain effect. It is necessary to understand the main points and draw a conclusion based to the main points to answer the questions. You can recognize this when the question says, what does the speaker imply or what does the speaker infer? Questions that ask about inference and conclusion are less common, so you will find only one question per passage. Well, all of these were the questions you will find inside TOEFL IBT test listening section. Don't forget to take notes while you are listening too. So don't try to write everything. Instead, use symbols or abbreviations. Write down keywords like names or dates. Also, you can use a T-chart or another type of graphic organizer that help you not only to take notes, but also to organize your information. So in that way, you can identify or find the answer quickly. Also, you have to start practice from now. Listen any kind of materials that you can, for example, podcasts, music, movies. So in that way, you can get familiar to the speed and also to the vocabulary. Well, this is all. Remember, I'm Jenny, and I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. So good luck in your TOEFL IBT test.